is entertaining the New Jersey Devils in game two of this playoff uh, series. And with us right now, defenseman Peter Taglianetti of the Pens. Uh, Pete, we're talking prior to the game, but I, I just want to kind of get your feeling on, on going to the playoffs and, uh, of course, playing with Paul Coffey and, and, and ask you, really, if anything is going to change at all from the regular season as far as you playing with, with Coff. No, right now I don't think they're going to make too big of a change. Uh, uh, we lost the first game, but, you know, all we do is regroup now and go back to the way we've been playing the uh, previous month. We were are doing pretty well, and uh, we just came out pretty flat the, the night there, so we're just going to have to rebound tonight. Tags, talk about playing with Coffey and, and how you've been able to adjust to, to his style, and what are some of the things that you're looking for as far as when he picks the puck up and what you're trying to do? Well, basically, I, I'm just going to read off him. Uh, you know the way he plays, and any offensive-minded defenseman, they, they play this, it's basically the same way. They, they want the puck, and they want to do everything they can with the puck. So my job is to give him the puck whenever he wants it and you know, follow him up and uh, just be ready to play defense. Uh, yeah, and you also really uh, kind of have to key in because you have to keep an eye, eye back all the time with, uh, with Coffee, especially when he goes deep. Oh, when he goes deep, it's, uh, you know, but every, all the other four guys in the ice know he's out there too, and, and they know he's going to take the puck up the ice. And... Um, Everybody knows that sooner or later they're going to have to be play a point position, uh, you know, at some point in the game. So right now it, it's not too bad reading off him because uh, uh, it's such a high intensity in the playoff series that everybody's willing to do what they have to do to win, win the hockey game. Prior to the start of the playoffs, of course, Bob Johnson's a guy that likes to sit down with people and explain their roles. But did he do that to you guys individually or did he do it as a team collectively? Uh, no, I think everybody uh, realizes what their roles are in this team. Uh, you know, a couple months ago, we were kind of flat, and we went on a, a road trip that uh, we, I think we lost uh, four out of five games. We tied one. And uh, from then on in, it was more of the guys just buckling down and, and playing the right uh, the way we're supposed to play. I mean, uh, I'm a defensive defenseman. I have to take the ball, and that's why I have to play to, to stay in the league and, and, you know, and to be effective on the ice. And uh, the guys are more offensive-minded. Other guys are playing totally defense. So, I mean, guys know what their roles are. There's nobody really has to tell them at this point in time. Tags, is there uh, any difference? You played a couple of playoff series in the Smythe division, but uh, it's early on in this series. But do you notice any difference at all in the, in the two divisions? Uh, not really. I mean, uh, uh, the Patrick and the Smythe uh, are more comparable than the other two. The, there's pretty wide open, uh, hard hitting, and uh, there's not too many um, uh, fights or, or, or uh, stuff after the whistle, which is, which is good for the game of hockey because it makes it more enjoyable for the people in the stands. What does Peter Taglianetti think the key to, to winning this series against the Devils is? Uh, hard work. Um, we have we have plenty of firepower. We can score a ton of goals. We have to play good defense, and you know, and as picked men, I'm coming in late in the zone. They they bring their defense up a lot, and you know, we got caught a few times. Uh, the point men coming in, getting the shots on net on us, and you know, they're getting the rebounds. So uh, it's basically is good sound hockey, and you know, take the chance on the offensive end when we have a chance. I got to ask you about Chris Terreri. I think you play with him at Providence College, right? Yeah, three yeah. years of it. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about him and uh, where you think there are any weaknesses as long as he's not here in this? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, well. Chris Terry, I mean, he's uh, he's one of those kind of guys that he's very hyper. He's always moving around the net, and I don't think he really has a weak spot. I mean, you just got to shoot a lot of pucks at him, and you know, and it, it seems that he stops every all the tough sh shots, and, and every once in a while, a, a little dribble will go by him, and you know, and hopefully that'll turn the game around for us. And right now, we just got to go not worry about who's playing that if it's Terry or Burke or, or who's their uh, best line on the ice. We got to go out there and play our game. It's our building. We have to dictate the tempo. You know, uh, a lot of guys in the playoff time grow beards. You started a little bit early this year. What, what do you think that the, the reason is behind all that, guys uh, growing the playoff beards? <laughs> Laziness, I think. Uh, <laughs> uh, it gets to be a hassle, uh, shaving. I, like, I only shave maybe once a week anyways, but this is, uh, this is something that's tradition, I guess. And uh, uh, guys, you know, 56 years ago were doing it. So now it's, a, it's, it's something to maybe bring back the, uh, the, the, the grinding out style hockey that it's uh, supposed to be in, you know, and, and we'll just go have to go in the corners and dig it out. Well, maybe you guys all look like the guys from ZZ Top when we're all done. Huh? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> all right, Pete, thanks so much and all the best in the series. Thanks, Mike. All right, Peter Tagliani has been our special guest. Be sure to join us next time for King's Face Off, brought to you by King's Family Restaurants. And remember, next time, make it King's.